G'day, this is me, and this is my garden path. Most days, I look this scruffy because I work as an orchardist looking after 10,000 cherry trees on five and a half hectares. I have 20 kilometres worth of irrigation line and football fields worth of netting to fix. This job is hard work and long days, so it suits me to a T because we grow some of the best cherries here in the world. I've worked many jobs from the Southern Ocean to the streets of London, and I've had 25 years in horticulture, from landscaping to retail and wholesale nursery. I've worked in viticulture, floriculture, and in orcharding, as well as broadacre farming. Being outside, driving my hands into the dirt and growing plants is a way of life for me. And it's not surprising considering where I came from. This is my dad, Roberto Carnavali, a first-generation immigrant from Italy who instilled in me his traditions, a love of family and growing good food. I told you it would have been like that uh, garlic. That should have been that much taller. Anyway, what's that? Uh, <laughs> like Farmer Brown. <laughs> Farmer Brown. Come on. I'll give you a shot. Really? Yep. Cool. Now, Dad, your trade is as a barber, isn't it? But you've always preferred to be outside. Yep, always. I uh, become a barber by mistake. <laughs> when I come here, I always wanted a bit of land, preferably with the river, and I found it here. So what have you got growing here? At the moment, we got the vineyard, which produce some beautiful wines. We got the olives, we make our own oil. And then we got sheep, we got the chooks, we got a bit of everything, you know, and we got a beautiful veggie garden, which we grow a lot of things which we use every day. There you are, Tim. You're done. Thanks, Dad. Now, I'm ready for television. He always was keen on 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 on, garden, on on plants, on trees. He used to talk to them. Yes, he used to. And in matter of fact, sometime, for some reason, I had to cut a tree or, oh, or even a branch. He used to go crook. No, Dad, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, he was always like this. And uh, uh, he was always gentle. In matter of fact, I used to call him Gentle Tino when he was little. This is Patricia Carnavali, my mum, the captain of the good ship Carnavali, and the reason we're all so well fed. Well, yes, food was very important, and that's what made you such a strong, sporting young man when you were a boy. We followed him around all over Hobart to all of his sporting activities. Yeah, well, I must have been all right at it. I played rugby union for five years and represented the state, so... And did very well. I gave up <laughs> I when okay. he started rugby because I couldn't learn any more rules. <laughs> so, Mum, you're of Tasmanian stock. Yes. But you married into an Italian culture and you immersed yourself in it. Yes. And I've tried to give you children the best of both cultures so that I was always very important that you had access to both sides of your heritage. About 11 years ago, I was managing a nursery in the middle of Hobart, and a personal hero of mine was a customer, Peter Cundall. He'd come in every two weeks to buy seedlings. And one day he asked me, could I be on television? And I said, yes, thinking he was going to come round to my garden and interview me. I obviously mistook his intentions because here we are today. G'day there. My name's Turno Carnavali, and I've been given the great honour of looking after the great Peter Cundall's veggie patch here at the Royal Tasmania Botanical Gardens. And as you might be able to tell, there's a fair bit of work to do. 
I suppose when it comes to my philosophy about gardening is it's all about simplicity. Gardening for me is a verb. It's about doing. Nothing useful grows until you plant that first seed. But mostly it's about me sharing the passion and the knowledge of gardening that has been shared with me. One of the most rewarding jobs I've ever had is setting up Tasmania's first Stephanie Alexander kitchen garden at a primary school that my daughters now attend. There you go. It's a carrot. Yeah, it is a carrot. That's one you sowed. So there you go. My past, my present and my future. The last 10 years presenting on Gardening Australia have been a true honour, following in the footsteps of great gardeners. But by far the best thing is that, seeing my kids develop a love of gardening that they'll keep with them for the rest of their days. Thank you.